Hey guys, what's up? Pete's Moving Nerd here. Welcome to the fifth episode of Firefox Evolution. In this video, we will be talking about Firefox 4. Now, I did say that Firefox 3 was the first redesign of Firefox, and I lied. It is a minor redesign since it kind of changed the buttons and the icons a little bit. However, this is the first major redesign of Firefox, so this is going to be a fun video to get into. So, the first thing is that the tabs are above the address bar, similar to how Firefox does it today. Not only that, but uh, we also have our back and forward buttons right here. The refresh button is actually its own button, and the home button is on the right. So, this design of Firefox is way different compared to other designs. Another thing is this version of Firefox is way more customizable than other versions of Firefox. So, uh, let's say I decide that I don't like where this home button is positioned, well, I can move it over here. Or let's say I want a downloads button, boom, I got a downloads button. So, uh, n yeah, now you can sort of customize it a little bit. Now, uh, this is not usually what Firefox 4 looks like out of the box for most people. Instead, you would typically get something like this. So, uh, it would look like this, and then there would be a, uh, blue button, or a red button with, that has all of your extra stuff. And this was one of my favorite designs of Firefox. Now, because I'm running it through Wine, it is a little bit glitched, and I had to use the, uh, I had to make Windows do the Display Manager instead of, uh, my Window Manager handle the window. So because of that, it looks a bit glitched. However, I actually set up a virtual machine for Ubuntu 11.10, sec, or 11.04, and uh, I have Firefox in it. So, uh, this, so, uh, the red button wasn't red on, uh, non-Windows operating systems, unfortunately. So, on Ubuntu, or, and, uh, other Linux distros at the time, you just get a GDK button. But it still looks pretty cool, and I still like it to this day. Another thing is this is the first version of Firefox to, uh, actually use, uh, about, at, about call and home as its homepage. So, all the... All the other ones would use just the Mozilla webpage for its homepage, however this one actually used about calling home. This version of Firefox also has an interesting feature where you can right click and pin, uh, and pin a tab to uh, the side. So this is the first version of Firefox to have this. There's also this brand new feature called tab groups. So let's just say I have the Ubuntu start page open and then my website. Well, I can click on the tab groups page and head over to this other cat tab group that has Google and YouTube. So it's a pretty cool way of being productive. Going into options, the main tab has been renamed back to general. Uh, and there is a new feature for Windows where you can show tab previews in the Windows taskbar. It also removed Java support out of the box. Added in do not track mode and uh, hardware acceleration. And, this was the first version of Firefox with Firefox Sync, which allows you to sync your history, bookmarks, passwords, and open tabs through your devices. So, uh, this is actually a pretty cool feature, and I actually use Firefox Sync today on Firefox, uh, whatever version we're on, 68 or 69, I don't know. Other than that though, other than the complete redesign, I feel like, uh, Firefox 3.5 actually had more in terms of features than, uh, Firefox 4 did. Although Firefox 4 can load modern websites even better than Firefox 3.5 can, which is, which is a uh, big bonus. Another interesting thing is Firefox 4 was the last version of Firefox that had long times between no releases. So right now they're just cranking out Firefox versions constantly. We have 66, then we have 67, then we have 68. But back then it would always take around a year between Firefox releases. Well, uh, after Firefox 4, they went from being sort of the long releases to starting to constantly release new Firefoxes. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.